What's up? This is Demrick. It's Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's OB Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. I, the other day I was calling Dear Hip Hop the gift and the curse because in 20 years I've put out a gang of music. You know, mixtapes, you know, um, you know, four albums. Yeah. Tons of singles, That's tons one of You stay very busy, like. I've done my best, and it's been hard. Like, I, I haven't even been as busy as I'd like, yeah. to be honest. You know, there's been some time between records, and I've, you know, worked on the songwriting, teaching, acting, and other things as well. But, um, you know, with respect to my career, it always comes back to Dear Hip Hop. Doesn't yeah. matter how much shit I've done, Dear Hip Hop. So sometimes I'm like, oh. you know, there was, a, there was a short period of time where, like, I took it out of my live sets. Oh, really? Worst mistake ever. Because that's what people want. Yeah. So you know, I've I've certainly become you know very proud of it, especially as it ages. And here we are talking about twenty years. Yeah. You know, and my new manager Nick Bambro of Smart, uh, big respect to him. He he hollered at me. He's like, you know, we got to do something special. You know, I was thinking about it and stuff. And and so you know, as you know, we started this crowdfunding initiative. Yeah. Because what we're going to be doing, in addition to the documentary I told you about, is um, a deluxe album so not only are we remastering the album which has never had an official release like on cd or digital yeah never, it's never been had an official release just the vinyl and we're going to be adding new tracks in the vein of that 90s boom bap hip-hop oh including a lot of features that i'm very proud of that i don't want to mention yet but throw out some of your favorite mcs from toronto mcs from the album um legends and all who who have said that they're going to take part, and I'm excited about that. Oh, so, snap. To me, this is sort of the, um, I don't know, commemoration that Dear Hip Hop sort of deserves. Thank you to the fans who, who, who have helped me to believe that it deserves that. You know, they call it the iconic track and classic and all of that stuff. So, yeah, we got stuff planned to celebrate. Oh, man, that's dope. Yeah. And when do you guys plan on dropping the uh, documentary? It'll probably be out in the new year. Yep. Um, in you November. guys are just starting to uh, work yeah, on it now. You know, I mean, the, the brainstorming and everything has been going on for a while. Like, um, people are going to take part in it, uh, interview or ease, interviewees and stuff. Yeah. So we're, we're planning this as meticulously as possible because at first it was going to be like a mini doc. And then we thought, you know, not to say this is what's going to happen with it, but we're talking about like make people to go to Netflix to check it out type of quality documentary yeah. you know and we figure if we're gonna do it let's do it right let, let's let it stand in history as something that really because what we want to do and what I want to do is it's not just a documentary about a song you know it really covers the fact that Toronto has a very rich hip hop I was history. just gonna say it's a landmark in Toronto hip hop yeah, history and, which is and, very undocumented yeah and I think there's more to it than just the song there's like all the art you know we've already mentioned a bunch of names yeah there's there's a lot of people involved in, in what goes on here so from my influences the maestro fresh Wesses and big kishes of the world who influenced me to do this to begin with to you know everything that happened before dear hip hop after it came out, its so-called legacy, my career, you know, um, it's bigger than a song. And yeah. I owe my career and success to so many people. And that's really, really what I want to have come across in the doc and have people go, even if you've never heard of me or you're somebody, you know, not from Canada, you can watch and go, damn, these, there's like a lot going on. And, yeah. and it's been going on for a long time. To me, that's important. I agree with you, and actually, when I've interviewed a lot of different Toronto artists like uh, Carlito Brigante and uh, yeah. Chris Got Rocks and um, Mike Boogie, and that's a common theme that happens in a lot of interviews with the OGs from the city. Mm -hmm. They'll start bringing up stuff, and you're like, "What? I know. Huh? What? All, Whoa, yo, who? All, what? All of those dudes you mentioned were there from the day. Yeah, like Carlito Brigante was a uh, be cool at the time, yeah. and he was part of this click called Simply Majestic, which I got sort of part of as a 14-year-old coming off of an electric circus contest that I won. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. And then I met Chris because the next time I was on electric circus, he was there as a member of self-defense. Oh, yeah? And hosted this sort of freestyle thing. I'm telling you, we all go back. We've all been putting in work. See, it's crazy. It's nuts, man. And that's one thing I was actually, uh, we'll go right sure. back on point in a second, but that's actually on a side note. One thing yeah, I yeah. want to do through interviewing different Toronto artists, yeah. over time start to get some of these stories out and then do follow-up interviews with each artist. And I'd like to eventually like put something together, whether a book or like even just totally, something, man. but like a, 
maybe like a monthly article for like a hip hop mag or something, mm -hmm. but something that just kind of describes the history. That's dope. Of Toronto because the stories all weave together. Yeah. You know, you interview Jell. I call him Jell. Chris yeah. Got Rocks. Really? That's how long I've known him, oh, and that's crazy. what he was called. To this day, I'll say Jell. Like his story is gonna cross into mine, yeah. cross into Carlitos and Wes and everybody else because. As huge as Toronto is, it's small and that Tight circle we all know music, each other. Yeah. If you hip hop, you know each other and we've crossed paths and we've been in the studio, been on the same stage. Um, so definitely. I yeah. Mean, yeah, they all bleed into each other somehow. Breaking fucking records radio.